right, welcome back. I'm Adam Richman, and this is the second half, number two and number one of my top five list of my personal favorite Tottenham Hotspur FC moments in history. Now, coming in at number two, well, this is something that I kind of have an odd personal connection to because, well, I know one of the people involved in this very moment, and also one of my agents actually was at this game. See, my agent, uh, Ben, his uncle is the oldest living Tottenham Hotspur season ticket holder. Fact. I mean, not a fact we should care about, or a fact I really necessarily should mention, but it's out there now. But he was at that game, and his father could only get them seats in the away end. So he was like so upset. He said as a kid he wanted to wear his jersey, he wanted to wear his scarf, and his dad said, but you will die, so let's not do this. Now, the Spurs player involved in this exchange is someone that had a wonderful clowning spirit, much like me, got a little bit ridiculed about his weight, but it's okay, he could take it, and he's a legend too, if I dare say so myself, probably more than I, than I am. Now, he's had ups and downs in his career, perhaps none lower than a particular night in Turin, but on this night, he was a hero. Paul Gascoigne from a free kick, left side of the goal, beautiful shot into the upper 90 on the right side, Gorgeous goal, and in fact, my agent said that he leapt to his feet and his father grabbed him by his collar and said, you will get us both killed today. And the fact that he did it over David Seaman, who was actually the goalie for the England team in Rest of World, and the fact that I actually knew somebody, and I, I so wanted to ask him about that, but I probably knew I ought not, because it was kind of a dick move. But to know the caliber of a keeper like David Seaman, to know what type of striker, what type of strike it would have taken in a game where stakes were so high against uh, the ultimate opponent for any Tottenham Hotspur striker. Well, a moment like that can only be an echo of glory, right? My personal number one Tottenham Hotspur moment for me is arguably the moment that kind of galvanized my resolve to become a Tottenham Hotspur fan. And it involves my number one player for Tottenham Hotspur of all time, the flying Welshman, Gareth Bale. Now, naturally, most Spurs fans know where I'm going with this, and I'm going to Italy. In particular, I am going to the San Siro. Now, obviously, we saw how Gareth Bale almost single-handedly beat Inter with this unbelievable hat trick, bulging the back of the net three times, but then to think, in front of North London, in front of people that had been subject to derision, other clubs having more money and more marquee players. Gareth Bale, someone from Wales, someone who had been wearing this shirt, who had bounced back and forth with left back between he and Benny Okoto, sort of struggled to find his footing, if you'll pardon the pun, all of a sudden took arguably one of the best right backs in the world and made him look just straight foolish to the degree that the stands began chanting, taxi for my con. And so for me, my number one Tottenham Hotspur FC moment in history would be Bale versus Inter, both legs, 2010, a definitive performance, just resoundingly nailed down by goals from Rafa van der Vaart and of course, Pavel Yuchenko. It's a great moment, it's a great thing. Will we ever have a player like Bale again? I don't know, but you know what? I'll always have those memories. And that right there concludes my top five moments in Tottenham Hotspur FC history. I'm Adam Richman, and Spurs are awesome.